What's good, guys? We got a cold shoulder mail time today. We got some zone. mail. Cold shoulder kicks got me feeling like I won the lotto. Might just have the ice out on my wrist. This AK fully auto. I've been balling like I'm Katie or McGrady on Toronto. Never gave a fuck about hey. that guy that came hey. by IG follows. Call myself a Mail. We got Zara Ruigi. Shout out to Rude and Ruigi. And we got two packages, two pairs of shoes. We're about to see. We're about to get right into it. Let's start with the Ruigi package from Zara. Here we go. I'm gonna set this up for you, all right? All right. So first piece, Zara Ruigi. Very nice quality T-shirt. It's heavy. It's just a plain oh, wow. white. I didn't know it was color. Uh, it's plain white tee. It's colored. I thought it was black. I mean, it's and so straight. It honestly looks like an off-white kind of color or a bluish tint to it. Very nice. Wow. Good for the money. Feel that how heavy it is. Moving on to this shoe right here. What do you guys think it is? Drop it in the comments before. They cannot guess that shoe if they tried. You could not guess this shoe. You don't want to guess this shoe. You guys think this is the Air Max or the trainer? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, these are absolute hot garbage. Travis Air Trainer. These are going for under retail. Congratulations if you hit, you lost money. This is this is utter garbage right here. Um, we're gonna move on from these. Drop it in the comments if you think this is the worst Travis ever. Moving on to something way more fire. Let's see what we got right here. Got another package. Guess it if you can in the comments. All right. We got a New Balance. Try to guess which one it is in the comments. What do you think it is? Oh, these are dummy fire. We got the black, dark gray, 990s. Dude, I mean not 990s, oh my gosh. 2002 R's, I always get, I don't know why I keep calling everything 990s. These are 2002 R's, these are my personal shoes. Size nine and a half, I'm glad I caught these. Super fire color, these are gonna go with everything. Full crew here. Yo, shout out Gift for the Marble OT. Yeah, it's actually fire. Where'd you get that? Mm. He traded it to some kid for one. I was gonna take it and fit me though. Yeah, Ooh, this definitely went to fit you, buddy. We got the best damn hat. The new racing team. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Best damn hat you've ever seen in your life. You got some NASCAR shorts, since I'm not allowed to wear my NASCAR shirt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you're not allowed to wear that shirt. We got some beat neutral grays. Um, these are honestly my favorite shoe in my collection. So we got some Hanes boxers. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Adrian's Fit Check. Uh, My Fit Check? Yeah, what do you got on, Adrian? He's got on the 2017 Slice Collaboration. Turn around, Adrian. Show him the back of your shirt. He's got, turn around, back around. He's got Mel Cutters on the front. Mm. He's got Bandana Bravest Studios. He got those yesterday. Come get them here. We're sold out. But we're getting more. <laughs> we got black, white dunks on the feet, some essentials. And he got some new ice on his wrist. So, folks, make sure you tune in. Adrian's leveling up. <laughs> We got the Kith Marvin the Martian shirt that I should probably retire, but I'm not going to. Green shorts from Forever 21 and Essentials Converse. And Those are not Essentials Converse. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> fucking mega That dude. was actually good lighting. Yeah? The Gobstopper. I'm absolutely vibing to the f Max. You don't say that. Yeah, his thing right now is workers' comp. I just hurt my finger earlier, so I'm trying to see if CS has workers' comp. We do, actually, now. Besides the point. <laughs> uh, Carhartt long sleeve. Shout out Ismaya. Hooked it up. A uh, little chrome jewelry. We got some Forever 21 shorts or H&M or one of those stores. And the mocha's on the feet. And these are not normal Nike socks. These are signed by Virgil. You never That's really wear those mochas. Where'd you get these on? Fingers out? Yeah. What's up, y'all? We got an absolute heater. That's a baby chad. Size 11.5. Let's see. Sadly. Wish it was 11.5. Do you like it better that way? No, I don't. I like the yellow bubble. I actually don't know if I'd like the shoes much with that. It's one thing I really like about it. And there's no beads. Nice quality, man. But these Thank are clean you. as hell. Yeah, definitely nice. Some Eric sweats. What do we got over here, kid? We back. Some five right now. Brand new. You haven't seen these in here yet. This is the Travis Scott Saturn. Saturn, right? And we have a size eight and a half Mambasita. This is a crazy expensive Kobe. Very nice shoe. Let's see, how much were you looking for, bro? It's crazy. Uh, the eight and a half Mambasita is, you know, about 450, 400 bucks. And a size like 12, 13 is like 1200 bucks. So that just shows the size really does matter. This eight and a half though, I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay. Just cause the size. Okay. It's a pretty difficult size. How much did you say? Uh, 350? 350. Yeah, 350. What do you think of football? About to try it on, so I'll just show you. Got a bottle of 13, he's like, damn, I should have got a 12, 12 and a half. I'm like, facts. 
He was a size 13? <laughs> Just picked up two pairs. We got a size 13 Saturn. This is an absolute heater. This is something that I think we all are desiring right now. Uh, something I want to show y'all. The small Travis's don't have the painted over bubble as the big ones do. And in my opinion, I like it better painted. And the swoosh is different. The swoosh doesn't have the beads, you're right. It's more of just like a rubber material. This is like beads, which I understand. They're not gonna put as much effort in a preschool toddler. What else do we got? Pretty good uh, deal. Good way to start off today. Good way to start the day. We got a Mambasita and a brand new Cactus Jack. How much do you grab both for? Grab both for 700 bucks, size eight and a half. It's like a $900 difference in an eight and a half and a 13. It's incredible. This is an absolute heater. Something I missed exclusive access on. But I'm gonna assume I would have hit an eight, so I only lost like 300 bucks not hitting. <laughs> Travis Scott Air Max. Is it under value? Yes. We are selling the shoe for $450, size 13. What Travis that looks this good have you seen under $500 after release? There's not many. Actually, the only one I can think of is the four. And look at the, what the four is at now. So. Potential hold? What do you think, Tyler? Definitely 100%, especially in a size 13 for under 500. Yeah. That's a great value shoe. Money size. I mean, they're pretty much all about the same price. This is a shoe that I think Christmas time, 700 bucks. This time next year, 1,000. Easy. Grab them while you can. They're a great hold. I know we all want personal pairs of these. Jules mm -hmm. picked up the brown pair, which is also undervalued for what it is. Brown's a, obviously an infamous Travis color. Mm -hmm. So that's always going to be the most expensive pair. And they're clean, bro. This is one that I'm going to have to fight wearing if I do grab. Definitely. Yo, what's good, y'all? Me and Gibby here today, reviving to the absolute max, like he always says. We have some pretty good pickups. You guys already saw the Travis Saturns, Air Maxis. It's a great pickup. Go grab them while they're low. But we also got the Kobe 6 Pro Cho and the Mamba Cita colorway. There's an awesome, awesome story behind the sneaker. It's obviously a tribute to Gigi and to Kobe. Um, the sneaker was originally going to release before the unfortunate passing of Kobe and Gigi. And it was going to be for Gigi's Sweet 16. So you have the number two here, which is Gigi's number. On the back, you have the Gigi hit. On the other one, it says Kobe now. Um, inside you have Mama seated with the two with the angel wings just a little yeah, commemorative hit for her But the sneaker uh, initially was gonna be a gift to Gigi uh, her first Nike shoe um, For her sweet 16 birthday and then after the passing um, Vanessa Bryant allowed Nike to fully release them as a shoe to commemorate both of them So you have the Mamba uh, Academy hit on the back That was the travel basketball program that Kobe had that his daughter uh, played for and that he was a trainer of and you know Kobe just being basically a great uh, girl dad, and that his mission was really just to help his daughter. So this is a very, very special shoe, very sentimental to the Bryant family, and we're super lucky to have it. So size eight and a half, if you guys wanna come grab it, come grab it. This is a great shoe if you're a Kobe fan, this is one of the cheaper sizes. So it's something really dope to have in your collection. I like Yo, this. break down the fit. Break down the fit. Okay, today we're gonna start from the top down. We got the CS trucker hat, best hat in the game. We still got some more left over there. I think there's like three or four more painted ones and the rest are all plain. Come get the painted ones, they're really cool, a little original. We got the CS tee that I cropped just a little too short. This is my favorite one out of the collection that we recently dropped with Mink. Uh, we got the cold shoulder on the front, Mermaid on the bottom, the grave hits on the back. Very, very cool tee. We have the Union Fear of God essential shorts. I really like these a lot. Uh, they're white, so I ruin them every time I wear them. <laughs> but they're a nice short overall. On feet, we got the Union Aragon Dunks. I like these a lot too. As you can see, I wear them pretty heavy. We got some nice heel drag there. But, but Icy Soul gets dirty quick. Exactly. This colorway is super nice. It's my favorite out of the pack personally. And if you guys like them so much and you wear a size 11, we got one for sale here in the store. We just lowered the price to 440, so come grab them. What you got? Spin it around. We are vibing with TY's chrome hat. It's for sale. It's on my head. You have to come take it off me. I uh, got a Donda Kanye shirt. The back's dope. It says, what is it saying? 2024. That's the, that's, the, that's the election tee. That's pretty funny. I knew that. <laughs> uh, on the pants, we got some no name, no brand, no naming. You don't want to say it? No. But uh, I'm a, uh, what do you call this? On the feet? No, what do you call it when you don't tell people what your brand, what you're wearing? You're, you're gatekeeping. I'm gatekeeping this brand. No one gets to learn it. Uh, and I got some geos tucked in today. Usually I'm tucked out, but I was feeling this vibe today. Kind of just. The Ronald McDonald specials. Yeah. These are, you know what? Fuck it. Let's show them. Went from Ronald McDonald to uh, Sub-Zero. Over here. What do you got on the neck? A scorpion. Uh, chrome jewelry. Nice. And a little ring today. I only wore one. That's my favorite chrome piece you own. Oh yeah, this joint the too. The bracelet. Very nice. It's definitely clean. I got some bracelets on me too. We're just vibing to the absolute max, hanging out. Uh, come by, shop www.cskicks.com. All the heat for the best prices in the market. Speaking of, let's show you our random price. Let's see, follow me. Heritage, Jordan 1. You see this? This is a new release. This is $220.
All right, so question. Um, if you were to grab a couple of shoes in here as holds, what are what are three shoes you're grabbing as a hold? As a hold? Yes. So what shoes would you hold right now for the best profit margin? Okay, let's go. We just talked about it. I'm obviously gonna grab it. It's probably the number one shoe in here I truly believe will go to the moon, I guess, is the Travis Scott Air Max 1, the Saturn colorway. For the price it is now for a Travis Scott, it doesn't get much better. I mean, look at the Air Max 270. It's the same price, it's a 270. This is a one. And then next, honestly, probably will have to be the Supreme Brazil High. Because it's a Supreme collab, most Supreme collabs do go for a lot more. And this is one that's been climbing over time since I bought it. I bought it for 320 a couple couple months ago. It's sitting around 400 market, so that's 80 already. This so one's gonna go up. you think this is gonna go up unlike the lows? Because the lows started off high, took a dip. I think they started off so high because they were so hyped. And they're still sitting at almost $1,000 a pair. That's a very expensive shoe. So considering maybe I would hold that if I was going to do a five-year hold, but nothing quick on the Supreme um, SB low. But on the high, it's not very expensive. I could see this being 600 bucks in a couple, six months, a year. And my last one has got to be the Union Argon. If you want to compare it to its counter, the Union Pistachio, sitting at 525 you know it's our cheaper union nike collab it's honestly a cleaner colorway in my opinion yeah definitely cleaner colorway i would agree with you and prices are going down right now on the argon so now it'd probably be a good time to it'd buy it'd be a great time to buy because this is going to be one that everyone sleeps on it's a dunk it goes with everything and next christmas you might want it all right we got some pairs here a couple new releases military air mac what is this the is it tree something tree line tree, tree lines line. little armored navy joint not bad, Jade Horizon. What size is this? Jade Horizon. Nine and a half. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, it sounds like the like the video game. Oh. What video game? Some, some Forza Horizon. Oh. <laughs> what are the SBs? Yeah, oh, Polaroids. Polaroids? Yeah. Nice. Right. Not bad. Nine and a half, do we still have this? Um, I don't know. I can just check, bro. What was the price y'all were looking for these three? Um, I was asking, I was at an event, I was asking 315 on these, so you can shoot me an offer on those. Okay. Um, these I was hoping for 160 that's market. I don't know, let me check the AW to go. Uh, like 210. 210 on the black white? Mm. They've restocked these so many times, it's ridiculous. I know, yeah. They don't give them a chance to go back up. No, not at all. They see market go up by five bucks, like, all right, restock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 630 for the three. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do 650. All right. Do. So we'll do 650 for these, and so then, what were you thinking on these? Um, those I was thinking like 250. The only the only thing there's no star loss or no heel drag. There's a small smudge on the uh, the sizing sticker. Oh, on the inside? I think on uh, yeah on the inside. I think I forgot which which uh, which shoe it's on. But. Okay. Oh, on the on that sticker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's no biggie. Yeah. So 250. What do you think on these, Tyler? I wore them. I wore them once and then. Just a retail hit you got, you just weren't really feeling it after. Yeah, yeah. He says they're too big on his feet. Yeah. I, never <laughs> <said that laughs> I was disappointed about these personally, because in the mock yeah. photos, the mm -hmm. red was so much darker and it looked so clean. Exactly. And I, I was like, this is like a shoe, I'm like, oh, I need these, I need these to come yep. out. And then finally got them like in hand. I was like, nope. Yeah. Sure. You're looking for how much on them again? Uh, 250. Probably gonna do that much, because that's gonna be, I'm probably gonna sell them for just a little bit less than even. Mm -hmm. um, I could do like 170. Ooh. What would be your best on them? Uh, to run 220. 220? Oh, that's your phone. Can you? Yeah, yeah that Andrew. probably would be my best. 220 would be your best? Yeah. I mean, they're super clean, but mm. still got some as used. Mm. Yeah, probably just I'll hold, probably hold off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always, you could definitely get more on your own. Yeah, sure. yeah. All right, so you, you guys just. La, 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 la. All right, so you guys just saw Gib pick up three more shoes for the shop. We got another size 10 military black. It's a double up, but size 10 is very common for us, and the prices are pretty good right now. He's paid 290 on this pair, so I think any military for under 300 is a good price, since we price ours around 380 to 400. So we'll make a little, uh, pretty good profit margin on these, and they're gonna go quick. This is a shoe that we think is gonna keep on going up. Um, we've seen fours do really well recently. Oreos are through the moon right now, and this is a better pair than Oreos, in my opinion. I was also grabbed a Rose Whisper Dunk. I know stock is pretty limited on these. Uh, it's a very nice colorway. It's kind of like a pinkish, copperish version of a Harvest Moon. So this is a women's nine and a half. So also a great size. I bought these for 150, so not too much over retail. And then we got a 8W black white. Black whites are always great. As you guys can see, we have a whole row of black whites over there. We just, whenever one comes in the store, if it's a good price, we grab them because they fly. Three more shoes for the day. Um, but me and Gabe are about to make a funny TikTok. Store owners be like, or don't be this store owner. 
um, it's kind of playing off the fact of like, uh, don't be this customer that we've been doing. So guys, go follow the TikTok down below, Cold Shoulder Kicks, and follow the Instagram at Cold Shoulder PB. We're gonna post it on both outlets, and yeah, three more pickups. All right, guys, it's me the end of the video. Thank you all for so much for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Go follow our TikTok and Instagram down below. We'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Cold shoulder kicks got me feeling like I won the lotto. Might just have to ice out on my wrist. This AK fully auto. I've been balling like I'm Katie or McGrady on Toronto. Never gave a fuck about a shot that came by IG follows.